Prozac, first monumental SSRI. Now, Prozac uh, uh, is compared to, well, there were other antidepressants before Prozac, but it was the first SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Now, what this means is um, basically it provides, provides a large amount of serotonin. It focuses on several other chemicals in the brain, but it mainly focuses on serotonin. So let's, let's move on. Now, items your doctor won't share, but first of all, I want to point out the Prozac uh, pill. This is the pharmaceuticals company Prozac. Now, if you're getting Prozac, do not ask for the brand name. Ask for the generic name. It's much cheaper and it's the same thing. I have people tell me all the time, well, this pill is this color, this pill is that color. They're all different. That's not the case. They're all the same thing. Generic is generic. They're formulated by, by, um, by, uh, by uh, the, same, the same ingredients. What happens is the patent wears off and they get the chemical formula and it's the exact same formula for all drugs. Um, I had somebody tell me once that a Prazlam, green a Prazlam, were their favorite. Now, I said to them, how stupid of you because they're all the same. Now, that may be very arrogant of me, but you got to understand that I deal with a lot of, a lot of this st type of stuff all the time and so I can't get ag aggravated. Now, what your a, do a doctor won't talk, tell you. Prozac isn't such a hot item for anyone with diabetes and not because of potential weight gain. Rather, it messes up with your glycemic control. Glycemic control, um, it, 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 has, it focuses with your sugar. Um, now, the sugar um, in your body is what affects diabetes. Now, the glycemic control, uh, it, it, the, the fact that it affects the glycemic uh, parameters in your body uh, can affect your diabetes. And your doctor is not likely to share it because he's not likely to know it. And if he is, he's not likely to think it's going to be a problem. It's rarely a problem, but it can be a problem. Um, and yes, it does cause weight gain. It can also cause weight loss. So, I mean, there's a bunch of different things, but the potential for weight gain is much greater. But that's not why it's uh, an, an item to watch out for diabetes. Prozac, fluoxetine, HCI, freaky, rare side effects. Bleeding gum, amnesia, antisocial reaction, herpes, again, blaming the meds for an STD. Um, I had to add that in there because um, it seems like uh, it's not really certain whether uh, herpes can cause, a Prozac can cause herpes. In fact, um, it's, just, it's just studies are done and conducted and they have to record all the findings. Excessive hair growth, engorged breasts. Believe it or not, engorged breasts can happen a lot of the times with certain different antidepressants and especially antipsychotics. Involuntary tongue protusion, and according to the PI sheet, a P slash PDR, PD, uh, physician's desk reference, one 77 year old woman stopped sticking her tongue out at everyone after they started giving her Prozac. And it's fluxetine hydrochloride. That's the chem chemical name. Now, now um, the, uh, the incident with this 77-year-old woman, she was apparently sticking her tongue out um, at people involuntarily. And uh, one of the things it does is uh, it stops this involuntarily, involuntary tongue movement. So it actually worked for her. Now, not that many people have a problem, but it's a r freaky rare side effects. Now let's get to the more important stuff. The sexual side effects and weight gains, if it happens, can be pretty bad. The sexual side effects can be devastating. This has been this drug has been approved for teenagers, uh, and um, 
I would not say that it should be the first drug to be tried. Yes, it is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, the first monumental one. But let me ask you a question. Which would you rather have, the horse-drawn buggy or the car? Which came first, the horse-drawn buggy? Or let's give another example. Which would you rather have, the first car or the newest car? So there have been monumental adva advancements in, um, in selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And um, so if you're going to go with one, maybe Prozac is not always the best choice. It can be a great choice. Don't get me wrong. It can be monumentally beneficial. Okay. Now, Prozac's long half-life makes the issue of med compliance a little less of a big deal, hence the approval for depressed teenagers. Like I said, it was approved for depressed teenagers. The SSRI discontinuation syndrome is rarely anything like it is with other SSRIs, if it happens at all. Now, it, it, there's this odd combination. Um, a lot of antidepressants, teenagers will start, will, will start um, taking them um, and stop suddenly. What happens is they feel a lot better and they think they don't need it anymore. Uh, for example, I'll give you the example of lithium. Lithium is for bipolar disorder and it is commonly stopped because the bipolar patients have this, this just brain anatomy and brain chemicals that just tell them that they don't need it anymore. And uh, for some reason Prozac is very productive in um, allowing the continuation of the drug in the person's body. Now also remember that this drug lasts in the body for a very long time. Um, it's, uh, in fact, I think there's a slide on it. Um, let's see here. Fluoxetine can stay in your body for many weeks after your last dosage and may interact and many other medications. Before using medications, medication, tell your doctor or pharmacist if you have taken fluoxetine in the previous five weeks. Some products that may interact with the drugs include, now you, there, there are tricyclists that interfere with the, the drug, carbamazepine, uh, and it, you know, uh, oh, I want to point something out. Um, a lot of the antidepressants end with NE, not all of them, but a lot of them do. So if you see an any at the end, uh, you know, you might want to say maybe this is an antidepressant. Just like lorazepam, diazepam, uh, diazepam, um, temazepam. Um, uh, let's see, uh, aprazolam, aprazolam. Um, they all end with uh, the same last letter. Um, and those are all benzodiazepines. So there's usually a particular pattern in um, the production of, of the classes of these drugs. Okay? Uh, some young people have, have thoughts about suicide when first taking an antidepressant. Your doctor will need to check your progress at regular visits while you're using Prozac. Your family or other caregivers should also be alert to changes in your mood and or symptoms. Um, now, I want to point out that uh, I, I put this up there because, you know, they always say, oh, you might, might get suicidal thoughts. Well, guess what? All antidepressants can cause suicidal thoughts. Um, now, the question is, is it really suicidal thoughts and tendencies that are progressing through this drug? Or is it the individual? That argument has been made and has been taken, uh, has been claimed. Um, and like I said, the, the drug companies have to record all the, uh, all the progress. And so you gotta wonder there. Now this is an old ad for Prozac. Um, ready to be happy. I just thought that was an interesting ad. Uh, I wanted to point out these slides are done by Mr. H. Um, and um, I go through them once before, but I know all this knowledge and uh, I'm glad to share it with you. Have a good day, good night, and good mental health. And notice it is by Pez, the ad.